Good morning. Welcome to our encounter for those who are first time. Again, my name is Delo. And today we will talk about this topic, I want to live. Let us start with the question, what is life? What is life? We know a lot of things in life. We know that energy is mass times speed of life squared, E equals mc squared. We know that the longest word is pneumono ultra microscopic silicovolcanoconiosis with 45 letters. We know that Heidelin Diaz won the first ever Olympic gold medal for our beloved country, Philippines. We know a lot of things in life. And I will ask you a question. I know that you know this too. Anong hayop ang laging nagdududa? Anong hayop ang hindi sigurado? Secret? Secret na? E di baka? You see, we know a lot of things in life. But have we ever asked ourselves, what is life? And this is our time to pause and ask that question. Many live their lives 18, 25, 30, or 40 years without truly understanding. Many finish it without knowing what is life. Let us ask this fundamental question that can change our lives. What is life? Let us begin by looking into some characteristics of life. I have here eight of those. Life is a gift. Life is beautiful. Life is big. Life is unique. Irreversible, transcendent, short, and fragile. Let us go into them one by one. First is that life is a gift. No one of us among here has chosen to be born. Did you? I didn't choose to be born as Philippine in the year 1994 and in the family Balsita. No, life has been given to us freely. The opportunity to experience life in this world, to laugh, to have friends, and even to cry is a gift. Life is the most valuable gift that we all have. And we have the right to live and to live well. Second is that life is beautiful. Remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, I can see here that we are all beautiful <laughs> in appearance, but let us go beyond and deeper than that. We are precious in the eyes of God. Has there been anyone aside from your mama and papa who told you that? I am telling you that again. You are precious. That is the truth. I am confirming that today. Your life is beautiful, the whole of it, your light, your shadows, your strength, your weaknesses, your joy, and even your brokenness. All of you is beautiful. In Japan, there is an art called kintsugi. I don't know if I pronounced that well, I hope. <laughs> Where they repair broken ceramics with gold to make them stronger and beautiful. We all have our brokenness, like this ceramic. But exactly there, that gold comes out. Your life is beautiful. Third is that life is big. Look around you outside. We can see that the universe is immense and marvelous, that science cannot exhaust its wonders. I tell you, your life is a mystery way bigger way more profound than the universe itself that we can see outside because there is a universe inside you. Have you ever thought of that? We're just most of the time only on the four 
corners of our room, but still a lot of things happening in our interior life because there is a universe inside us. There is so much to know and discover in life. You are more valuable than the whole world itself. It is written in the Bible, what profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? It means I can sell the whole world for you because you are more valuable. That is how big we are. Fourth is that life is unique. I am not you. You are not me. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Imagine if you look like me and you speak like me. Logi ka. You are at disadvantage. <laughs> Even twins are different from each other in many ways. Each one of the persons who come into this world brings something new. Something that has never existed before and will never exist again. You are unique. You must know that there has never been same as you before because if there has already been, then there was no need to be born. You are new. You have a specific role to fulfill in this world. Life is irreversible. We cannot go back to the past no matter how much we try. I'm trying to go back. <laughs> Life is a continual journey. We keep on moving forward. Every step counts. There are two thoughts that most of the time holds us to keep moving forward, to take risks. One of the thoughts is, if else, I, if, if only, nagiging programmer na ako dito, if only, and then the second is, what if? If only, Oh, if only I was born in a better family. If only this COVID didn't happen. Oh, if only I studied well. Don't dwell on that. Move on. Life is irreversible. The other thought is, what if? It looks at the future with fear, saying, what if I fail? What if... Uh, this COVID continued to two or three more years. What if they laugh at me? Don't dwell on that too. Because it stops us to keep on moving forward. You only have one chance in life. It is irreversible. Six is transcendent. The word seems too deep. It can be a philosophical language and has a broad meaning. But we can understand it in one way, and that our lives have an impact. Everything we do right now affects other lives. What we learn today, we will bring with us, with others, through our actions and words, consciously or unconsciously. What we do and who we are has a ripple effect. You have a ripple effect. You have an impact. Seven is that life is short. It is written in the Old Testament. Seventy is the sum of our years, or eighty if we are strong. Think about it. It has been written about 2,000 or even 3,000 years ago. But this is still the same as of today. Regardless of our advanced technology, we cannot extend the length of our lives. According to my research in datacommons.org, the average life expectancy of Filipinos is 71 years old. Whoa, I'm already 27 years old this month. I'm on my 38%. <laughs> Knowing that life is short must not make us anxious, but instead gives us the wisdom to make the most of it. That's as it is written, teach us to count our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Again, life is a gift given to us and a gift that one day will be taken away. Knowing this makes us live our lives with gratitude. That's the proper disposition of proper wisdom that God is giving to us in living our lives. Lastly is that Life 
is fragile. And we all know it. We all have experienced it when pandemic hit us. We are all reminded how vulnerable we are. A small invisible naked to the eye virus killed more than millions of people worldwide. The fragility of life exactly is what makes us pause and ask ourselves the deep-seated questions in our hearts, such as, what is life? Who am I? What is my purpose? Where is my place in this world? Is it truly worth living? It's up to us now to live this beautiful, big, unique, irreversible, transcendent, short, and fragile life that we have. How are we living it? Where are we investing our lives? The good news is that we are always on time to change because life is a project. We can work on it. The question is, who can teach us to live our life to the full? Who? For many years, I thought life something as you just need to pass on through stages. I thought life is that you are born, you go to elementary school, high school, college, and then if you are intelligent enough, like most of us here, you can uh, study more, the masteral or take another degree or doctoral if you can. Then after studies, you find a job, build a business, then after that, find a partner in life, get married, have children, take care of them, get old, retire, travel, check your bucket list, and die in peace. This was life for me. Stages to pass. Life was something that happens to me. And to make the most of it, in every stages, you need to get, get, get. You need to get friends. You need to get awards. You need to get experiences, get pleasures, get the money, get the exciting uh, things that um, perhaps others haven't done yet. All of these things. Get, get, get. This is the kind of life program that most of us follow. But what do you think about it? This is a time to reflect on it. Is it good enough? The main question is, is this all there is to life? Is this all there is to life? Let me tell you a story of a young eaglet. One day, a farmer found an eaglet egg. Pick it up went to his hen house and put it under one of his hens. When all the eggs were hatched, the little egg was hatched with them. The mother hen took care of them and treated the eagle the same way. He began to learn how to live his life as a chicken. <coughs> to eat worms and to fly a little. This is the way he lived then one day, when he looked up to the sky, he saw a beautiful, majestic bird riding on his wings. He turned to one of his chicken brothers and asked, what is that? His brother said, oh, that's an eagle. They are birds of the sky. We are chickens. We are only birds of the ground. There was a part of the young eagle that ignited a longing in his heart. He has been eating worms that do not satisfy him and flying few feet that never seem to be enough. He was facing a turning point in his life. Will I continue the life that I've been used to? Or will I take the risk? and live a life like that big eagle 
to fly like a bird of the sky. He decided to spread his wings and fly. He took the risk. His life changed forever. Inside each one of us is a desire to live more. Yes, I want to live more. That's the shout of the young people. But who can teach us how to live more? How to live life to the full? Look up to the sky, not on the ground. And you will find one saying, I have come so that you may have life and have it to the full. In Christ, I found another way of living, a road less taken. He is our eagle. He is the man who has lived the fullness of human existence. And he wants to teach us the same path. As St. Irenaeo said, the glory of God is man and woman fully alive. The Lord wants us to be alive. That's his wish. That's his desire. That's the reason why he came for us. He is telling us, follow me. Whoever wants to save his life here in this world will lose it. But whoever follows me, who loses his life for my sake, will find it. Learn from me how to live your beautiful life. Live your life to the full. Do not just survive. Do not just go with the flow. Do not live like a zombie <laughs> or a robot or a chicken. <laughs> Do not just pass your life without knowing what it is. Do not just exist. Take the risk, spread your wings, and fly with Christ. How to fly with Christ, perhaps you are asking now. That is what we are about to know more in our next sessions. <laughs> but for now, we continue to deepen on the meaning of life and pray about it with the Lord. I have here two guide questions that can help us in our time of prayer. Let us ask, out of the eight characteristics of life, what speaks to you the most and why? Gift, beautiful, big, unique, irreversible, transcendent, short, and fragile. Make your own reflection. Ask the Lord, what does he think about it? And second, how do you think Jesus is inviting you to live your life to the full, to fly with him who is showing us the way? I will leave you now in this moment of 10 minutes silence so we can enter into our hearts to reflect and to pray with the Lord with these guide questions as well. 